Hiya crafters, Amy here, and today I'm going to try out a new to me peekaboo die and show you a bonus card, so do be sure to stick around to the end. Now this is a new to me die from Paper Rose. This is, I call it a peekaboo, but I don't really know what they're called. They just kind of cut out um, pieces of your cardstock in sections, but don't cut around the outside perimeter. So I'm going to give that a go today. Now here's a photo of the first finished card that I'm going to make for you. And I was able to use some pre-batched items from my stash to kind of pull this together. So I'm going to show you how I made it, but like I said, I will show you um, a bonus card at the end as well. So here I'm going to struggle for a minute <laughs> trying to get that off the backing, and then I'm going to line it up um, vertical orientation on an A2 size card base. So that's Nina Classic Crest Solar White, 110 pound, and I'm just kind of lining it up, kicked off to the right, um, but with a little bit of a margin off to the side. And I'm going to hold it down with some mint tape and run it through my die cutting machine, and then I will pop out all the little pieces. So I'm just going to carefully remove this mint tape. Um, the mint tape did leave a little bit of an impression, so I should have probably been better about um, lining that up so it didn't kind of put a little dent in my cardstock. So I'll know better for next time, but I'm going to use my little pokey tool and pop out all these little fiddly bits and um, reveal this gorgeous floral design. So I love dyes like this. I feel like you can really create a wow factor without a lot of effort um, because it is going to kind of create an opening on your card. Now initially I wanted to kind of play with it and see how durable it was going to be. And as I suspected, um, because it is so delicate with the little details, um, it wouldn't be something that you could kind of just leave as it is. It is a little bit flimsy. So <clears throat> here I'm showing you can kind of bend it. So I wouldn't, I mean, you might be able to kind of leave it as is, but I decided I wanted to kind of back it with um, a pop of color and an existent background. So this is my trusty uh, chocolate box full of previously made card panels. I have some that are alcohol ink, some that are ink blended, some that are foiled, and basically all different techniques. So I have a ton of these, as you can see, that haven't been turned into cards, but this is really handy to have on hand if I need to make a card in a jiffy, or if I wanna just sit down and kind of batch a bunch for my stash or for donating. So I have a bunch of stenciled ones. Um, all the stenciled ones are pretty much a Colorful Life Designs. Have some like recess embossed here and I'm just kind of putting them behind just to see how it looks. And also I'm kind of noting on the back of the panel, I was originally thinking alcohol ink, but I noticed on a lot of my panels, I had some alcohol ink that got onto the back. And the reason that caused kind of a problem, you can see here, is that that would show on the inside of the card. Because basically my plan is just to attach this whole panel right on the inside of that card base. So that way it'll give the front of the card base stability and the pop of color, but I still need to make sure the back looks good because I don't want to add too many layers or bulk. So sadly, all of my alcohol ink panels were kind of a hot mess on the back and didn't really work. So. Um, I kind of had to abandon that idea. So I'm just still kind of flipping through um, and I ended up going with this panel. Now this gorgeous design is actually a layered camo stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. It's one of my favorite in the shop. It's like three different layers and they bring together this really cool camouflage design. So it's great for masculine cards or I've done them in every single color like pinks, purples, all sorts of punky designs. So very versatile and fun to have in my crafty stash. Now I know that I need to adhere this down with all these little fiddly bits from the die cut and I don't want to use liquid glue. So I actually just slapped the whole inside portion of this card base um, right down on a sheet of micro dot paper. So this is Artist Tack and what it does is it lays a bunch of little mini micro dots of glue all over on either your die cut or in this case, half of a card base. So this is going to eliminate my need of kind of gluing all of these down onto this panel and then I can basically just nestle that ink blended card panel right into the card and then it will kind of give it the stability. Now here I'm just adding a little bit of extra on the edges where it's solid paper just so I can make sure that it's got a good hold on that card panel when I kind of nestle it in. So I'm just using some tape runner here um, and then I will line it up and there will be just the tiniest little overhang just because I'm kind of nestling it 
just to the side of the fold because I want to make sure that the card still folds easily uh, or closes easily, but it was no problem. I was able to just kind of snip off that little edge in my paper trimmer um, and no issue there. So I'm just kind of burnishing my finger down, making sure those micro dots hold the little die cut bits down onto that camouflage paper. And then here I pick a color Aquatini. This is from the party collection of Catherine Pooler. And I feel like that's a good match from the ink blended panel. So I'm actually just going to swipe it and create essentially my own colored cardstock. Now this is pretty splotchy. Um, you could probably do this neater than I did, um, but it does dry back quite a bit and it doesn't matter in the end product. You'll see um, I'm just going to die cut out that die, uh, that standalone die right there, and it doesn't show the inconsistency at all. So this is very saturated because I recently refilled my ink pads. So I'm just going to hit that with my heat tool a minute after I clean off my glass mat. This is my beautiful new glass mat from Glassboard Studios, by the way. Um, and I do have a coupon, Amy's Wears 20. If you are in the market, this is actually a magnetized glass mat and it is amazing. So I'll link those um, details in the video description box below. But after I'm done struggling for an hour to get this off, this was very, very glued on. <laughs> um, I'm going to die cut this out of this um, makeshift handmade colored cardstock. And I do end up actually cutting that a couple times. And like I said, do stick around and I'll show you the bonus card that I made with the second strip of this. But I'm just going to attach this down with some mint um, tape. Now the low tack mint tape that I use is from scrapbook.com. This is my favorite that I've come across so far. So I just keep stocking up on this stuff because it works so well. Um, but I do run this through and it came through fine. I didn't need a shim. It cut beautifully. Um, these little tiny letters that kind of attach to the strip. So I attached that uh, horizontal orientation, added some blingage, and that is going to finish this card. So I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I thought this would be a nice thank you card. Now, thanks for sticking around. Here is the second card. I used the other um, die cut strip and some colored cardstock. So it was a fun way to use up some colored cardstock. And I had this little cute colored critter sun from my critter book. Um, I do have a folder, a three ring binder full of um, die cut and colored critter stamps. So uh, the sentiment strip as well as the really pretty stitched edge die are both from LDRS Creative and I'll link all that below. So these are my two finished cards. I'm really pleased with how they turned out. Uh, didn't take a lot of time. I was able to use some pre-batched items and save some time and there you go. Oh, here I'm going to show you. I'm just going to stamp on the back. This is my custom stamp. It did actually originally come on a handle, but I converted it into this cling stamp. Um, you can do that with your block stamps. If you're not aware, you can actually pull them off and add some uh, cling foam and turn them into something you can use on a block or in your misty. So anyway, thanks for spending time with me today. I'll catch you next time. Bye.